Hi Chorus, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing well. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment. Just um, a few things here while I'm shuffling. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, if you'd like to enter my personal reading giveaway, details are below on how to enter. Uh, I've been posting um, some new meditations on my other channel, uh, Mindful Love and Med Meditation. You can check that out if you like. And then lastly, uh, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will uh, look at the next three weeks energy from this reading and treat it as a personal reading. So with that... Let's get started here. All right. Let's see what the energy is here, Aquarius. A lot of fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Interesting. Okay. So this feels like there definitely has been some, a timing issue here, I feel. Okay. Um, you got strong Sagittarius. You have strong Libra. We got a lot of fire here, Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, we got uh, earth energy and air. Uh, so we pretty much have all the energies on the board except for water so far, okay? Now what I'm seeing here, I feel there's a message, okay? Definitely showing me here with this Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to receive a message here from someone. And I feel like with this Tower energy, I feel like you're not expecting it, okay? Somebody here is coming towards you with the Knight of Swords and the Tower and I feel like you're not expecting to hear from this person. Now, I'm going to say this is somebody I feel like you've had a really hard time. Um, I do feel like there's been um, either distance or you and this person have not been on the same page. And I feel like there is somebody coming towards you. Okay, either there's something here that they're needing to confess to you or something that they're needing to make right. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what this is. But I see with the three of wands, the five of wands and the ten of wands. All right. It's going to be different for everybody because you, you all are in different cycles in your love life. But I feel like uh, Aquarius, you may recently have been thinking about right your options here in the situation. Some of you may be thinking about right? Maybe opening up your options, putting yourself out there, okay? Or I'm going to say some of you may have been really conflicted having a hard time moving on from this person here, okay? You have the seven of wands here as well. And so I feel like with the seven of wands, um, I feel like you still, some of you still want to fight for this connection. Now, this could be your person as well who wants to. So let's clarify and see what these energies are. I feel something happened between you and this person where the two of you are not on the same page. I also feel like too with that five of ones that there could have been some sort of drama, something that happened that you weren't expecting. Okay. So let's start with that. Let's start with the five of wands. Why is the five of wands here, please? Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the ten of pentacles. So either you are in a relationship with this person or this is somebody that you saw yourself in, you know, something very committed, loving, a partnership here. You have the seven of cups, you have the nine of wands, and you have the ten of swords. So I feel like something happened here, Aquarius, that you weren't expecting. I feel like it caused a lot of mixed emotions. Um, I do get an energy here that whatever happened, like the worst is over. And there's an energy here. I always say with the Ten of Swords is that there's an energy where, you know, whatever that was, that was the most difficult part of this situation with this person. Okay. 
And it may be that that is why uh, you may be having a hard time moving on. It could be your person here too. Take the roles how they resonate with you. I see this person coming towards you. So I'm going to clarify here because um, it's in the center of your reading here. Why is the Seven of Wands here, please? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Okay, we got the Queen of Pentacles. The Magician. The Devil. Okay, Capricorn Energy. <clears throat> so really, what I really get here in this center energy, oh, look at that, the Six of Swords. I get an energy here, Aquarius, that... Whatever happened in your situation, I feel like something happened. It was shocking. It wasn't it wasn't expected because right now it's not showing that there's a really strong foundation between you and this person. However, I do get the energy here that you, you either you've had a hard time moving on or you you're moving on from this person. Now that can also represent there could be some travel distance between you and this person as well. Um, so let's clarify the tower. Why is the tower here, please? Okay, we got the Knight of Pentacles. We got the Two of Wands. We got the Eight of Pentacles, yeah, and the, and the Queen of Swords. So I feel like um, this person's coming towards you. I feel like you're open to communicating with this person, but what I really get here because of this tower energy something happened i feel between you and this person and i feel like there could be um some you know some toxicity here but it also can be as well there could be ego that has gotten in the way with you and this person but it feels like there was some sort of interference now i'm going to say there could have been other people in, interfering in this connection or some sort of drama that happened but you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel what's happening here is, like I said, I do sense that something happened between you and this person. You've had a hard time moving on from this person. And I feel like um, this person, you're going to get some sort of message here from this person, as I said before. So it could be, um, like I said, it could be a confession Maybe something you weren't expecting to hear. And for some of you, I feel this is someone who's making the decision to come towards you and try and work things out is really what I get with that tower. Uh, because it does feel whatever the two of you had, it feels like trust has been broken and things have not been working. Like you and this person were not on the same page. Now, I'm going to clarify that Knight of Pentacles because I feel there's a message coming through. We're going to see what the justice is, right? Is that just this person wanting to make things good or is there something there they're needing to confess? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? And then we'll pull some Kipper cards. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? We got the Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Three of Swords, wow, okay. Queen of Cups, all right, Knight of Wands. So this person here, I feel, um, you have the Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Really what I get is this person messed up. They're in their head. Um, I feel like this person, when it comes to their feelings and emotions right now, I feel like they're at a standstill. I feel like this person, there's something here that this person needs to say to you, uh, whether it's to make things right or it's to confess their love for you or confess their feelings all right so as i said i do see with the knight of swords i feel this person is coming towards you you also have here the knight of wands so they're definitely coming towards you right with communication but let's see what the why the justice is here why is justice here why is justice here? Wow. 
bottom of the deck here, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So your person, I feel, has thought a lot about this. This may be somebody who walked away in the connection or somebody, either you or this person, walked it away in the connection. I feel what happened here, and that may be the confession or what they need to make right. I feel like your person walked away and was giving their time to something else, either someone or something else here in the situation. And that's why we have that 10 of swords here, because it was something that was difficult. Um, it wasn't good, right? And may have been very hurtful, could even be a betrayal. So somebody here, I feel, um, I feel like it, this is your person. I feel like they walked away uh, from this connection or this relationship. They went to explore something else. And they realize now, right, that that's not what they should have done, okay? And they may have been breadcrumbing you. They may have, you know, just, uh, you know, tried to keep you, um, you know, available to them. Um, but they weren't really giving a whole lot in the connection or the, the relationship here. Um, but I feel like this person has done a lot of thinking about this, about what has happened and I feel like they're not feeling content where things have been left off. So I'm going to clarify here with this Nine of Swords and see what do they want to say. Because they definitely are coming towards you here with communication. And so I feel like they want to make things right or there's something here that they want to say. Um, why is the Knight of Swords here please? Why is the Knight of Swords here please? The full card. Wow. <laughs> the two of cups. The death rebirth card. Scorpio energy. And the ace of swords. Oh, wow. Look at that. Three of wands. You have three of wands here as well. I almost feel here, um, this person's rushing in because they feel like they could miss an opportunity with you. Um, I feel like they didn't get it right. They didn't get it right the first time. You know, some of you may admit maybe it was something here that's been repeating. That can be the case here with that double energy. But you got the full card, the two of cups, the death rebirth card, and you have the ace of swords. This person, I feel, um, they're coming towards you. And I feel like they're taking the risk to come towards you, even after what has happened here in the situation. I feel like they're afraid to lose you completely. I'm not too sure if this person is, you know, has changed their ways. We'll see more in the extended. I'm going to pull some Kipper cards here as well. But I feel like this person here, Aquarius... They're just afraid of losing you and they want a new beginning. They want a new start. They want to communicate with you. They do have love. Love is not the problem here with your person. Um, I feel like there was other people involved somehow in your situation or they were giving their time and energy to something else. Could have been addictions. Could be third party situations, right? Could be anything, right? Maybe they work a lot. But this is someone I feel um, they're not content where things are at right now. And they, I feel like it's just that energy. They don't want you to slip away is really what I get here, Aquarius. So let's see what the Kipper cards have to say. Okay, distant horizons. So they're feeling the distance. Some of you, there may actually be some physical distance between the two of you. It's also the Six of Swords energy. Like I said, they may be feeling like you're slipping away. But the same token, it's here with the Justice energy. So I feel, you know, that's about, you know, they want things to be better between the two of you. They want to make things right. Okay, yeah, poverty. So I feel like they're, they're realizing where, where they fell short here in the connection, what was lacking, right? That's what they want to they want to move past. I'm going to say, too, they could be feeling like you're leaving them behind as well. Okay, look at that, yeah. So it's about how things, how things ended here, but it's also about change and transformation. They're worried that maybe things are over between the two of you, and that's why they're rushing back. Okay, toil and labor. Yeah, they still want to work on this. They still want to work on this. Courthouse. 
judgment energy. Yeah, so they, they've thought about what has happened in the past. They're making the decision to come towards you. It's also an energy here of second chances. Like I said, they want a second chance where they fell short. So something happened here, uh, Aquarius, that has really made them realize that they messed up big time. Okay, yeah. They want another opportunity. They want a new beginning here with you. Again, showing me that here. As I was saying here with, you know, the Two of Cups and the Ace of Swords. They want a new beginning with you. Um, you know, it's that energy here like I could lose Aquarius forever is really what I see there. So Aquarius, I'm going to take it to the extent and we're going to see how this plays out. Uh, really going to see, you know, what this person's intentions are, but really strongly, this person's worried that they could lose you forever is what I, what I see here. So Aquarius, I hope to see you in the extended. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.